I grew up in a very loving family, so I've always known since then that I've always wanted to have a family someday of my own. You know, being a queer uh, person, it's I knew that I was always going to be up against a lot of odds, a lot of challenge. So it was very important for me to find a partner who is willing to fight the fight with me. Someone who has a great, someone who is compassionate, someone who um, understands the notion of unconditional love. I would say to those who are members of the LGBTQ community who are looking to having a family, I think there's a lot more access for us now. Um, there's a lot of queer members in the community who had paved the way for us, who had fought for our rights to make it easier for us to have a family. Today, we have access to fertility options, adoption options. Um, we can marry whoever we want today. It's all because of those who fought for our rights. For my wife, Gail and I, we really want to teach our kids to love unconditionally fight for what's right because really our family was made possible by advocacy so we really want to pay it forward to the community and advocate for others. Pride to me is a reminder of the resilience of the LGBTQ community that we are a group of people that overcame adversity and will continue to do so as long as we continue to advocate for one another. Okay, so my wife Gail and I now have two kids, but we face a challenge of raising them in this heteronormative world. Challenges like having to correct paperwork because it always indicates father and mother in school forms, in employer forms, in, in a birth certificate. And then also the challenge of ensuring our kids feel secured and understand that our type of family is not an anomaly, that there are many ways to have a family. There are two moms, two dads, one mom, one dad. Um, and also another challenge to safeguard your family because of legal ambiguities. Uh, for us, that means filing a second parent adoption to make sure that the other partner who is non-birthing is secured. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that could change on us and we always have to be on the lookout of those policies that we change. You know, there's a lot of, um, I, so I haven't been here for a long time, five years, and I always thought, you know, where, where are the other gay families? And so that's one of the reasons why um, we're, you know, we're starting the face group, uh, queer families, to see, you know, who else are out there. I can't be the only one feeling that we are just the only LGBTQ family out here, that we feel that we need that support. There's security in numbers. Family! <laughs> and who?